Do you know what the must have is for your wardrobe, especially during these times that we are like at home or we're just very casual? What should you have in your wardrobe? Well, I'm gonna be talking about it today. It is the blanket scarf. Hi, my name is Tracy Pullman with Tracy with Style, and what I do is I help women figure out what they're gonna wear each day so they can feel good about the way they look and they can stand out amongst their competition. So today we are talking about the blanket scarf, and I'm talking about all the different ways that you can wear a blanket scarf. Now, if you have a blanket scarf, let me know in the comments, okay? And do you wear it one way or do you wear it several ways? I'm going to be teaching you a bunch of different ways how to wear it, and I would love to know what is your favorite wear. So, uh, favorite way to wear it. Is it you know, a uh, cowgirl chic, a coat. I'm going to be going through all kinds of different ones. So you might want to jot it down or you might want to watch this again because I don't know about you, but I have to watch it several times to remember all the different ways that I can wear it because I kind of get stuck in a rut and I wear it kind of the same way all the time. Well, these blanket scarves are so in. You can get these everywhere. You can get them at Amazon, believe it or not. You don't have to spend a fortune. They have them in all the stores. Um, and this one is just like one of those big, long, like, or big squares. And the first thing that I want you to do is to actually fold it into a triangle. So by folding it into a triangle, it prepares it for a lot of different things. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do our cowboy chic, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to wear it with the point in the bottom here. Okay, so you're gonna put it with the point in the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is take the ends, you're gonna act look like you're choking yourself, and then you're just gonna bring these ends in the front here. So you can just kind of wear it just like this, kind of get my hair. So, and you can tighten it up as tight as you want. And so you've just got the little point here, you've got your ends on the side, and it's super duper warm, okay? The next one is the coat. And I know this is the, one of the ways that I wear it mostly. And because I don't know about you, but we keep our house pretty chilly. And sometimes I will literally just take one of these and just throw it around my shoulders and just wear it just like this, just like you would wear a normal pashmina. We've got our V in the back and you just wear it just like this. Now you can, if you would be so inclined, you can take a belt with this one and you can belt it. So let me see if I can do this <laughs> while holding on to the belt. This is definitely a way to make your waistline slimmer. So you can just belt it up, okay? And let me see if you can see it. That's the bad part about having my camera <laughs> the way it is, the angle that it is, it's really hard to see a full on view. So now you can see it with it belted up. Now you can belt it over your top or sweater. You could also belt it over a coat if you wanted to. This definitely defines the waistline as well. So it's gonna give you that waistline that maybe you didn't have before, okay? So we've got that one is the coat that is belted. Next, we're gonna do our short knot. So we're gonna, again, let me ditch this thing. We're gonna put our V in the front, okay? So we're gonna have our V in the front here, okay? So then I'm gonna take my ends and I am going to take these little ends here, <laughs> if I can find them, <laughs> and then we're gonna twist them around our neck. Remember before we just kind of left it straight here now, this time, we are going to take it and we're going to knot it. So those of you who are watching, do you wear a blanket scarf? Do you have blanket scarves? Do you like to wear them? So you can take the knot and you could just wear the knot just like this. Let me kind of angle this down so you can kind of see a little bit more. So isn't that cute? And so you can just wear your little scarf like that. And it kind of like, it, it's not as bulky this way it's not quite as wide when you wear it this way the next is when you roll up your blanket scarf so you got your blanket scarf and what you're going to do is you're just going to roll up the scarf so we're going to roll 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 until we have like a little noodle 
<laughs> it's just a long little area here. So you can take this and we can just wrap it around just like this and you can just let it dangle. It's kind of nice because then you could wear your necklace. Your necklace is gonna show. This one's a good one, like if you had a cardigan on or you had a vest on, particularly a longer one would look really cute with this look and you could just put these out in front. It adds a lot of color to your outfit and it's gonna definitely not be so cumbersome around your neck. So those of you that are like, Tracy, I can't stand things around my neck, you are gonna love this look this way. Now, next, you could do what you call over the shoulder. So I make one end a little bit longer than the other, and then I'm just literally gonna flip it around the shoulder, okay? And so with this look, I would probably safety pin my scarf. Otherwise, this thing's gonna be falling, especially if you're like me, I'm on the ground, up, down, all around, right? And so you can still wear your cute little necklace too, which is nice with this one. So safety pin that. The next thing is a simple knot. So we just have our ends here. I'd probably make them equal. And then simply tie just a knot, okay? And you could just kind of let the knot go like this if you wanted to. So you could wear it like that. Or I like putting kind of the top, like sometimes you can get it angled and you could just wear it just kind of like this too, if you wanted to. So I love that look too. Just kind of something different, okay? Then what we can do is we can also make a blanket scarf an infinity scarf. So who doesn't love an infinity scarf? So we can take it and you just want to tie a little knot here. And then I'm going to twist this around. I'm going to put the knot in the back. Then I'm going to crisscross this and then wrap it around my neck. Now, you can adjust it, like if you want one a little bit longer than the other, you could definitely do that. If you wanted to, you could even take the little knot and you could bring the knot kind of out in front. Let me kind of see if I can get it there. So if, if you had a cute knot, my knot doesn't look real cute, <laughs> but then you could just wear it kind of with the knot right there and doesn't that look cute too? So, and I love the infinity scarf because it's not quite so tight against your neck like some of the other tricks are. So this is the infinity scarf. Next, we have the in the loop, which this is probably one of the ones you're gonna remember the most because most of us do this with our winter scarves, with our coats. So we take the scarf, you wanna fold it in half. Okay, I'm gonna kinda take this little piece. It's nice when you have, if you roll it up, it's nice sometimes to roll it up if you can, like lay it on the bed and roll this part first. So then you don't have this little flap, but I wanna do it really fast for you. So you're gonna take it, I just doubled it up, put the ends in, and now voila, just like we would wear our scarf in the winter time and you can mess around with this and play with it a little bit. So there we go. So a great thing to do while we're all comfy cozy in our homes we're we're like not wanting to do a lot this adds a lot of color it adds a lot of fun to your outfit and it also adds a lot of warmth to your outfit and i live in uh, the midwest and it is already cold so i always could use something like this to keep me nice and warm so let me know what your favorite look is i'd love to know that take care